with a narrow beach joining the flat areas of Bolden and Tatanga. In 1940, on orders from Governor Hobson, the New Zealand flag was lowered and the Union Jack was raised in its place. Wellington was now an official British setting. An early settler obtained the wreck of the bark in Constant and in 1850 beached it here on what was known as Windy Point, where it was converted into a wharf and store. After the earthquake of 1855, the ark was left high and dry. Today its remains lie beneath the old bank and the bar can be seen in the bank. In 1901, the Bank of New Zealand opened their head office in this magnificent building, which was built over the remains of Plymouth Park, on reclaimed land. Harold Beecham, who was later to become Sir Harold, was a well-known Wellington identity, who served as both a director and the chairman during his long association with the bank. Equally, if not more well-known, was his daughter, Catherine Mansfield, seen here visiting with her father. Catherine was to become one of New Zealand's greatest writers. before Wellington City Council decided on a plan to encourage its redevelopment. Ipo Limited, who were renowned for restoration of the Queen Victoria building in Sydney, were awarded the tender and work began. With the old bank arcade opening in 1999, we are able once again to appreciate the fine craftsmanship and splendid architecture of the park. old bank building. I stood up on that platform to take the video. That's a free thing to do on the hour every hour. There's some stairs here to the right. Inside that building on the corner. The cable car is further along to the left and the beehive as well. <laughs> 